Well, hello friends. It's been a very hot minute since I made one of these videos. Uh, basically last year I created a series. Well, it started as a single video and then turned out to be a series thanks to you and your amazing feedback and response that I decided to call simple and cheap sustainable habits that I had for years. And the whole idea behind this video series was to show that sustainability has nothing to do or very, very little to do with who you are, how much do you earn, how, where do you come from and all of that, but it's something that can be realistic, doable and achievable on a daily basis by anyone, regardless again of who you are, how much do you earn, where do you come from and all of that. I get it, oftentimes we can get a distorted idea of what sustainability really is. We get all these fancy, expensive things online, we see things promoted by influencers, we see a lot of greenwashing, it's not very clear what we're dealing with, so I wanted to make sustainability something that could be relatable to anyone and for anyone as a person who had to go through major life changes in the past four or five years of her life i had to change a lot of things and shift priorities also and especially when it comes to sustainability because i'm on a very tight budget i live by myself and a lot of things changed and a lot of the things that i could afford before i can no longer afford them so yeah if you have missed for some reason, any of the videos of this series, I'm just going to link them all below. And by the way, if this is the first time for you tuning into one of my videos, hi, my name is Jenny, it's nice to meet you. I live a very simple, very ordinary and as conscious as possible life here in my tiny studio apartment in Berlin with my cat Ziggy Stardust, which you currently cannot see because she's hiding in a box. She loves that box. I cannot take it away from her, so I'm just gonna have to live with that for a while. So if this is the kind of vibe you're looking for, then please smash that subscribe button and let's be friends. If this for you is not the first time tuning in, but you are a returning viewer or subscriber, hi, welcome back, it's nice to see you again. If you would like to see a part five or even a part six or seven, I think there's enough for like at least two or three videos, um, then just give this video a like, drop me a comment, let me know that you would if you would like to see more. Other than that, I'm just gonna stop blabbering and without further ado, I present to you my simple and cheap sustainable habits that I had for years, part four. I've been budgeting for almost 10 years now, and this is hands down the habit that so far has allowed me to save the most and be sustainable at the same time. Budgeting for me means not only to know how much I earn and spend, but also how. This doesn't mean that I'm perfect, because every month is different and slip-ups can happen. But all in all, knowing how I can and want to spend my money and act accordingly means to be mindful about my spending, buying less, and therefore living more sustainably. I don't use my oven a lot in the warmer months because my studio apartment can get really hot on its own. But in the colder months, whenever I use my oven, I try to fill it up as much as possible so I can get the most out of that energy that I use. And also, and above all, once I'm done using it, I leave it open so I can heat up my apartment at no extra cost. Much likely with the oven, I try to be mindful with my fridge and opening it, especially in the summer. During the summer, a fridge requires more energy to keep things cool, especially my fridge, because he's an oldie. So I try to avoid opening it a million times in a row, so it won't lose its cold all at once and will require less energy and times to reach its temperature again. While I still buy books from time to time, a few per year, during the last years, the majority of my reading has come through monthly book swaps, book crossing spots, or the local library. Book swaps are my main source to find books in Italian, my mother language, for free, and have a monthly gathering with like-minded people that I always look forward to. For everything that has to do with ebooks or audiobooks, I always turn to the local library. And sometimes even book crossing corners can offer true gems. So it's always worth to take a look at it whenever stumbling upon one. 
I can't believe I haven't talked about this before. One of the most effective ways to reduce your daily carbon footprint while saving money is to reduce your meat consumption. The meat industry has an insane impact on the planet, being one of the leading causes of climate change. I stopped eating meat in 2016, mainly for this reason, and shortly after I've become vegan. Unfortunately, for health reasons that I won't explain in this video, I am currently on a mainly vegetarian diet with occasional fish consumption, but still no meat at all. While I'm sad to no longer being able to live on a fully vegan diet, I try to look at what I'm still able to achieve with my daily meal choices. At the end of a full year, it all adds up and makes a difference, both for my wallet and the environment. While I recognize that being vegan or vegetarian is not for everyone, eating less meat and consuming animal products more mindfully can certainly and easily be done by everyone. I don't use a lot of makeup and my beauty routine is pretty simple and streamlined, meaning that I know what I need and use nothing more than that. My makeup routine consists of only two products, black eyeliner and black mascara. And my skincare and beauty routine sticks to simple products that I use on a regular basis. If somehow I end up buying something that I don't like or doesn't work well for me, I either try to use it up anyway or, if possible, give it to someone else. I try to not get fooled by all of the advertisements that pop online and that promise results that on most occasions they cannot maintain. I believe that taking good care of myself doesn't mean to spend tons of money on a lot of beauty products. I can still be beautiful and shine if my beauty routine is simple and streamlined. I truly believe in the art of repairing. Just because something shows imperfections like little holes or rips, it doesn't mean that it can no longer be used. I do this especially with clothes and textiles to extend our life and be more gentle on the planet without buying something new every single time. I don't know how to sew, so I simply take my clothes to a seamstress near me to get them professionally repaired. And if something, for example, that I got secondhand doesn't fit me very well, or if something that I own already no longer fits me well, and I still want to keep wearing it, I simply get it altered. I have been living abroad for 10 years now, and one of the biggest changes that I've had in my life is that I can finally no longer have to depend on a car. So I am no longer a car owner. I live in a city that has an excellent public transportation system, so why not taking advantage of it? I am not a bike person, so I'd rather walk or take trams, trains, subways, and buses. And this not only where I live, but also where I travel to. To me, this is a much cheaper, more sustainable, and more authentic way of visiting a place as a traveler. So there you have it gals, these were my simple and cheap sustainable habits that I had for years. If you have enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Give it a like, share it, drop me a comment. You would make my day, it would help me so much. Let's remind YouTube that small creators are still existing. Thank you. Thank you all so much for watching and for spending time with me. I will see you in my next video. Bye.